Hey guys, welcome to um, Let's Play Once Upon a Sims Part 1. So in this part, I'm just going to, you know, like, introduce you to all of them and, uh, you know, get them a house and get them settled, get their jobs and uh, such things. I already created the eight Sims I'm going to be playing um, because <laughs> I take forever to make Sims. So, like, that would have been a ridiculously long amount of time. And I'm sure none of you would want to sit through that. So I already made uh, the eight characters I'm going to play. I'm going to be playing Snow, Charming, Belle, Rumpel, Regina, Robin, Emma, and Hook. Um, so I'm just going to uh, go through their personalities and outfits just so you can see, like, everything. And Yeah, okay. So this is uh, Mary Margaret's everyday outfit. Um, it, I think it's pretty cute. I gave her red shoes because, um, like, I don't know, like the whole apple thing. I don't know. I just thought they were cute. And formal wear. Oh, yeah. And sorry if my voice sounds gross. Uh, I have a cold right now, and so... Yeah, I got a little frog in my throat and stuff like that. Not fun. <sighs> Everything takes forever to load because I have, like, so much custom content on here. <laughs> I really can't help myself. I'm, like, on The Sims you Resource all the time. Easy. I think I love it just because it's, like, shopping, but everything is free. And who doesn't want to shop for free things? Anyways, okay, so this is her formal outfit. On to sleepwear. Rafia. And athletic. Um, we're probably not going to be seeing anybody's athletic outfits too much, except for maybe like Emma or Robin, really. But um, here's her athletic. Swimwear. Dad, Dad. Again, I did the red, just kind of like you know, apples, and then like the red lips. The and anyways. <laughs> okay, so under personality and traits. So I gave her brave because she, you know, like she did the whole um, bandit thing and she stood up to Regina and she's just like a really, she's a really like kick butt personality, you know, she, she's like awesome. Um, family oriented for obvious reasons. Um, good, hopeless romantic, and natural cook. So I gave her natural cook because um, I kind of wanted her to be doing most of the cooking for the family and stuff. Just because, you know, like, I'm going to have a lot of them working and doing different jobs. And it's just nice to have someone who's, like, pretty good at cooking in the house. Especially when you have eight Sims. Um, okay. So on to do David. Ogla. Okay, so this is his everyday outfit. Gotta wait for it to load. <laughs> I'm waiting for this little thing to... There we go. It turns blue when all my clothes are loaded, and that way I know it's not gonna like lag when I try to spin them around or scroll or anything like that. Right, formal. Kukapa. I just gave him like a simple, you know, like classy tux. Sleepwear. We know. Uh, 
athletic. Again, you're probably not gonna see too much athletic. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have him be a firefighter, so he might need to level up his athletic skill for that. Oh my god. So there you go. And I gave him a horse because you know, like princes. You know, and he's like kind of a knight, and he does all that horse riding and all that good stuff. So Swimwear. And outerwear. Coolly god. Okay. Um on to personality. I would dose. Um I gave him brave because he is brave prince knight and all that such. Um, family oriented, friendly, good, and hopeless romantic. And I also gave him the firefighter superhero lifetime wish. On to Bill. Rafia. Okay, so this is her everyday outfit. It, see, it does this jerky, freezy thing when it's not all loaded, so I gotta wait. <sighs> there we go. Alright, so there's Belle. Formal. There we go. Alright. This is her formal wear. I tried to put her in a lot of blue just because, um, you know, the original Belle was, like, the from the movie, um, wore that guy. blue. So, I don't know. Sleepwear? There's her athletic. Snar, kushla. Her swimwear. And finally, her outerwear. Sizzle. Okay, and now on to personality. Pre-Nupa. I gave her a bookworm because, you know, obviously she's really into books and all that stuff. Um, brave, you know, because she has to deal with Rumpel. Good, hopeless, romantic. And I gave her neat just because, um, you know, she did, she was like the housekeeper for Rumpel. And if we have, it'll be really good for a house with eight sims to have a neat person kind of keeping up, you know? I do want to give her, I don't know if you can have a part-time job at the library or not. I have to check. But, um, um, I do, I want her to, if that is a possibility, I want her to have something to do with the library. Okay, this is Rumple. This is his everyday outfit. I'm not, yeah, okay. Uh, onto his formal. Sashko! This is his formal. I thought it was sharp, you know? 
And um, once we get in game, I'm going to give him a cane that goes along with his outfits just because, you know, he has one in the show. More doing so. And there's his sleepwear. I gave him uh, little kitten slippers because I thought they were really adorable. <laughs> um, athletic. So, so. We're probably not going to see him in athletic basically at all. He's going to be doing more with, like, yep so. just, I don't know, doing rumple things. Swimwear and outerwear. And personality. Okay, so I gave him evil, not because I still think he's like a bad guy or anything. Like, I realize he's definitely turned a new leaf and is trying to be good, and that's great. But he did just kill Zelena, and he's lying to Belle. So I did, I did leave the evil trade in just because... You know, he he's still not quite there to good yet. Um, family oriented because of uh, Neil. Um, genius, grumpy, and hopeless romantic. Even though he denies it, he's totally a hopeless romantic. Um, On to Regina. Yeah. It was actually really difficult finding an outfit I liked for Regina because most of the outfits that were like her style are really like outdated base game stuff that don't look good. And so I kind of just settled on this. It's not the like most her style, but I mean, it's a cute outfit and it's in colors that she likes to wear, so. Are you gonna load? Please? There Not we that. go. All right, so this is Regina's formal. I love this dress so much. It's one of my favorite dresses that I have uh, for The Sims. It is custom content and you can get it on The Sims resource. Um, most of my custom content is from The Sims resource. Almost all of it actually. Zalaba Weefa. Sleepwear. Pre Nupa. Here's her athletic. And her swimwear. Snar, Kushla. And here's her outerwear. Hey, right, on to personality. Nushki Zanzi. Okay, so I gave her green thumb uh, because I'm going to have her growing apples and such. And I don't know, she just seems like a green thumb. She, yeah, okay. Uh, grumpy, hopeless romantic, loner, and over emotional. 
Okay, I don't want any evil regal skinning on my case for being over emotional. I'm not saying Regina is over emotional. Um, but um, just because of the whole thing where uh, Snow is talking about how Regina feels with her whole soul and she doesn't need her heart to feel a lot of emotion and stuff like that, you know, um, I just really feel like she really emotes a lot. Not that she's like over emotional. I mean, I love Regina. I don't think she's over emotional at all. Um, but just because it's more of like emotional, she's very feeling. Anyways, um, okay, Robin is next. Ayaka. Here's his everyday outfit. but formal always takes forever to load. I don't oh, know what it is. Derpa. Here's his formal. Suzel. Sleepwear. This is her everyday outfit. I had to give her the red, uh, the red leather jacket. <laughs> um, this hair is the closest hairstyle I could find for Emma. I think it's pretty close. Um, I know Emma's hair is a little bit longer, but it's as close as I could find, and I think it looks nice. takes like the longest to load. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I really, I don't. Hmm. Maybe, you know what? I do have a lot of custom content dresses that I have. Um, As you can. Okay, so I gave her this one just because, like, in the pilot, she's wearing a dress that's, like, really similar to this when she goes on that blind date with the guy, and then she's like, BAM! And that's one of, that's one of my favorite outfits of Emma. Um, yeah. Sleepwear. Silsil. Oh, and I gave her, I don't know if you can see it, uh, there it is. I gave her a little tattoo on her wrist because um, she does have a buttercup tattoo on the inside of her wrist. There's her athletic. Bravo. 
Ah. Alright, I don't know where... Uh, Alright, I don't know if you guys saw Probably. this somewhere. Um... Sorry, my camera cut and it stopped recording. Anyways, this is her swimwear. Uh, I think it's super adorable. I don't know if you guys saw her athletic. Um, I'll show you that. In a, I'll show you that again in one second. Um, so this is her swimwear. It's super cute. Uh, There we go. All right, there's her athletic, and then outerwear. Swimla. Okay. Personality. I gave her athletic, brave, good, loner. And perceptive. All right, and last but not least, Killian Jones. Medio. So I gave him gloves for a lot of it, for as many outfits as I could, because you know, like the whole fake hand thing, and he wears like two back, two black gloves. You know, since I can't, I looked everywhere for a custom content uh, hook but I couldn't find one. So I'm just gonna use the gloves. Oh, so this is his everyday outfit. Here's his formal. His sleepwear. Sashko. Athletic. It's basically the same thing as his sleepwear. Um. I gave him the whistle because uh, I'm going to have him be a lifeguard. So, just for the reference. Outerwear. And traits. Bruno I gave Don. him charismatic, daredevil, flirty, good, and hopeless romantic. Okay, so that's all of them. Um, I'm going to go up to Emma and I'm going to um, change her to be a teenager just for now. Um, oh, jeez. Well, it's fine. She's going to be in this outfit for like two seconds. Um, I'm just making her be a teen for now. I'm going to age her up as soon as we start, but... Um, the reason I'm making her a teen is so that I can make Mary Margaret and David be her parents. And I can't do that if she's not a teen. So, alright. Let's edit the relationships. Ugh, that outfit. <laughs> oh, it pains me that the... Um, Sims 3 into the future expansion pack clothes get used on everyday Sims. Like, really, I don't... 
I don't understand why they couldn't have... I mean, I guess it's a lot of coding, so it was probably it would probably be hard to make it so that people only had that as their default clothing in the future, but... I don't know. Are you guys gonna load? <laughs> Look, all of them are, like, in a line, and then there's just Emma, <laughs> the baby. Okay, so they're going to be married, and Emma is going to be their child. All right, Anne, Belle, and Rumpel are married. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I'm so glad that they got married. Um, Regina and Robin Hood, I'm just gonna say boyfriend and girlfriend. Um, oh, also for this Let's Play, we're just gonna forget like the last five or six minutes of the finale and um, they're right where they are what uh, left off before Marion and all that junk okay we're good um, I downloaded a custom content house for them that should have enough bedrooms but I don't know if it's gonna show up I, I didn't check beforehand so we'll have to see if it doesn't show up then we can just um, move out one of the richer families in the town and uh, just move them in there. <laughs> my difficulty's all the way up. I don't think I've ever had my difficulty all the way up before. That's really funny. Okay, um, I'm just going to put them in a lot for now. And then, um, so I can give them a whole bunch of money in cheats. Uh, because, I mean, four of them are royalty, so I don't really think that... Um, money would be an issue for them. Uh, especially since this town is kind of, it's not really Storybrooke, but I tried to, I picked one of the towns that was more towny, uh, the original town that comes with the base game. Uh, just because, yeah, um, you know, to make it more like the town, and I don't really think that money is a huge issue in Storybrooke, you know. Okay. So I'm just gonna pause this. Oh, I gotta age Emma up. Okay, um, oh, I gotta turn on testing cheats. Testing cheats enabled true. Okay, there we go. Now I can go ahead. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, trigger age transition. And now Emma's gonna age up. <laughs> they're so cute. I love it when Sims celebrate birthdays. It's, it's so adorable how they're all just so happy. We might have to edit Emma again when she uh, ages up. Oh, yep. Uh, I gotta edit her again. Alright. That's fine. <laughs> Emma. Alright. And... Edit and create a sim. Okay. Oh, her eyelashes are doing that weird thing. I don't know what it is, but sometimes the eyelashes on my Sims have this, do you see this weird, like, black line? I don't know what that is, but I get it sometimes, and I don't know what it is, but, hmm. yeah. All right, anyways. Okay, hair. Let's get our hair back to normal. Where is that hairstyle? Oh, there it is. I love KZ hair. KZ just 
makes the best hair. It's so gorgeous. And it doesn't do that thing where like, is up here, I'll show you. Some hairstyles really bother me because like the person who makes them doesn't have them lay flat on the sims. Like you can see like this hair just like lays flat there, but um, some hairs that they make like this one, See how it's like not anywhere near her? Oh my gosh, that bothers me so much. So, so much. Uh, oh, right, clothing. Oh, I gotta go through all this again. You know, here, I'm going to pause it here and then um, I'll come back when all of her outfits are done. All right, back to normal. Fantastic. Um, she, oh yeah, I gotta give her a lifetime wish. Um, yeah, okay. Accept. Much better. <laughs> Some of the outfits she had were ridiculous. It was really funny. Oh, look at Regina. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> ah, that's cute. Okay. Okay, hold on. Sorry if my frame rate goes down and like this gets all slow. Um, I don't know what it is, but when I play The Sims 3 with um, this recorder, it really, the frame rates just plummet. Um, Uh, oh, right, sorry, I totally forgot what I was doing for a second there. <laughs> I just blanked out. Okay, uh, computers. I just always get that one because it doesn't need a desk. Um, I'm just getting them some money using the mother load cheat. Uh, all right, there we go. Much better. So now they can afford the house that they need. Um, ah, Emma, she's all distressed because she's around a lot of people. Um, okay. Uh, move. Oh, wait, hold on. I got to edit the neighborhood and put their house in first. Okay. Edit town. Just continue. Okay. Um. Empty houses. Alright. Uh. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was that one. Yeah, it was this one. Alright. Place copy here. And then this one just has, you know, plenty of, uh, just rooms and stuff for them to be in. Um, and it's a really pretty looking house. Props to the person on The Sims Resource who made it. Um, I don't have the credit right here, but they did a really awesome job. It looks fantastic from what I can see. So once we get them settled in, that's going to be the end of the part. Um, and then I'll continue with like the gameplay and all that fun stuff in the next part. Okay. Uh, yeah, you gotta... Hey, 
right, looks nice. It's a really nice house, right? Except. And return to game. Oops. All right, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what, I should save it. You guys saw like none of it. It took so long um, just to get everything right and figure out what outfits I would give them. And sometimes I decided to like the outfit afterwards and I would go back and change it. Oh, it took me forever. But I'm always really picky about my Sims, you know? Like, I always want them to look their best. <laughs> mm, it's taking forever to save. I think because I'm using Bandicam, uh, it makes things run a lot slower. Man, that took forever and a day to load. Oh my goodness. I cut a lot of that out just because I didn't want you to have to sit there and wait for as long as I was. Um, okay, so we're going to have Regina move within this neighborhood. Ibana? <laughs> Oh, such a girl. Hmm. <laughs> She's trying to I'm figure out how to use the future computer. I just like that one because it fits right in your pocket. And, um, okay. So I'm going to move everybody over. Um, and I'm just going to change the household name to Once Upon a Time. Alright, um, house. Where is that house that we put down? Is it this? No. Cancel. <laughs> shoot. I forget. Is this? Yes. Okay. This is the correct one. All right. Here we go. New house. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. There they go. Oh, poor Emma. Why isn't Regina? Oh, Regina is freaking out, but she's freaking out a lot more. Huh. Oh, Emma stopped freaking Oh, wow. And they all can fit into one taxi. Realism. <laughs> Here's our house. Oh, there's a big hole there. Is that a tree? Yeah, that's a tree. Okay, I was gonna say, there's just a big random dirt hole in the ground. Um, but no, that's a tree. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna start from the bottom floor. Uh, does this not... Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the garage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put... Oh, the move is still technically in progress, even though they're all already here. Okay, so over here we have a pool. It's a really nice pool. Um, like, really nice. It's, I really love this house. It's gorgeous. Uh, we got an eating area and a nice little lounging area. A little lounging area over here. Um, that's the garage. Uh, so nice eating places out here. Uh kitchen, a nice little back porch, a living room, and a, uh, what's that, office. 
I almost said study. I'm like, no, study is not the word. Uh, a little balcony thing here. Um, this one only has four. Oh, wait. Does it have more than just four bedrooms? Hold on. Uh, one, two, three. There's four in this level. Right, is there? No, there's no more bedrooms up here. I was going to say, I, I could have sworn there were only four bedrooms. It's because there was only four bedrooms. Um, so there's four bedrooms here. I'm going to have to um, edit one of the rooms downstairs into a bedroom. Uh, probably make this one a bedroom. Um, uh, yeah, so this is the second floor. It's got nice couple bathrooms, four bedrooms, and then up here we have a nice workout station, which I'm going to turn into another bedroom. Um, or you know what? This could be a bedroom. This is nice. It's got a bathroom. And, um, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be another bedroom. Alright, good. Cool. So this is the house we're using. And... I think that's it for this part. Next part will be adjusting some of the houses and then actually getting the job set up and, you know, all that good stuff. Actually playing some and not just setting things up. So, I'll see you in part two. Bye!